In this series of videos, we'll look at the English founding colonies in North America during the 1600s. In this first video, we'll look at the first unsuccessful attempt to found an English colony in the uh, 1580s. In the early 1580s, the English Queen Elizabeth I, shown here on the left, she wanted to establish a colony north of New Spain, not only to search for gold, because the Spanish, of course, had found gold, but also as an outpost to raid the Spanish ships returning to Spain with their gold they had gotten from New Spain. She granted a charter to colonize the area to Sir, hum Sir Humphrey Gilbert, but Gilbert died and his half-brother, Sir Walter Raleigh, shown on the right, inherited it. Walter Raleigh was a famous courtier, and then he'd been fighting in places like Turkey and and uh, Ireland, and he's a a real was a real famous, uh, exciting character at the time. So in 1584, Raleigh sent an exploring expedition to find an appropriate location, and the fleet settled on the Chesapeake Bay area. And after the fleet's return. Raleigh named the land Virginia in the honor of, honor of Elizabeth I, who supposedly was the virgin queen because she wasn't married. In 1585, Raleigh then dispatched Sir Richard Grenville uh, on another voyage to establish a colony. Grenville settled the colony south of the Chesapeake Bay on the north end of Roanoke Island, which was protected by the Outer Banks and what is now, of course, North Carolina, and you can see Richard Grenville on the left here. After building a fort on Roanoke Island, Grenville returned to England in 1585, promising to return the following year with supplies the colony would need, and he left 107 colonists led by a guy named Ralph Lane, shown in the middle here, to deal with the Indians. Now, some of the Indians around Roanoke, this colony, were, were friendly, but Grenville had ticked off others. Grenville had earlier burned an Indian village when a silver English cup had been stolen. There were no there are no pictures of the front oak fort today, so the pictures at the left is a is a projection. The drawing at the right, however, on the top right here is a contemporaneous drawing of an Indian village. As 1586 passed without Grenville's return, Sir Francis Drake, who had been raiding Spanish shipping in the Caribbean, arrived at the Roanoke Fort and he agreed to take the inhabitants back to England, uh, but leaving 15 men to sort of keep an English presence. The following year, 1587, Raleigh dispatched another fleet led by a guy named John White and holding 115 new colonists to pick up the 15 men, and then the plan was to move north to the original location of the Chesapeake Bay and settle there. When they arrived at the Roto Fork, however, the 15 men were gone and uh, uh, all that was left was uh, a skull, one skull remaining. The uh, English ship pilot refused to go further, and the colony had to remain at Roanoke. There, the first English child was born in America, and they named her Virginia Dare. By the end of the year, the colonists convinced White to return to England to get additional aid for their colony, and White left, promising to return the following year. A war with Spain, however, broke out, not surprisingly because of the raiding, and White's return was delayed until 1590, three years later. And if you're familiar with European history, this is, of course, the Spanish Armada. When White returned, there was no evidence of the colony. Only the word Croatan, the name of a nearby island, an Indian tribe, carved on a fence post, and the letters C-R-O carved on a tree. The buildings had been dismantled, suggesting that there was no violent attack. Why did a range of the colonists that if they were to leave a, a cross on a tree if they'd been attacked and, and forced to leave, and there was no cross? With the storm approaching, White was forced to leave without uh, adequately searching to, the, to find him. In the early 1600s, Raleigh and others organized several expeditions to Roanoke, to try to find out what happened to the colonies, colonists, but uh, there remained no new evidence. Today, Roanoke Colony remains known as the Lost Colony. Archaeological research has found some evidence of English goods at nearby Indian villages, which may have been traded, but some historians believe that the colonists decided to go live with the nearby friendly Indians. No one knows for sure. But this uh, 
this ends the first video on the first unsuccessful attempt to find an English colony in the New World.